Henry Ford was a very shrewd guy, and he promoted interest in his factories in order to sell cars. He actually had Highland Park designed almost as an advertising tool with signage, handsome buildings, even a plate glass window on the power plant to expose the machinery to, to people walking on the sidewalk. This is an aerial, whoops, I pushed the wrong button again. That's an aerial photograph from the early 20s of the Highland Park plant. You can see up there the, um, the Ford name, there were five smokestacks. Those are the plate glass windows there. The, uh, the engineer said that he didn't need five smokestacks, but Ford insisted on it because he wanted to be able to put one letter of his name you know, between each one. So the actual physical design was dictated by uh, marketing considerations. When they introduced the Model A, which replaced the Model T and was the first uh, factory uh, uh, car excuse me, to be produced at the River Rouge, his new factory, Ford's advertising agency hired a, uh, Charles Sheeler, who many of you may know, a great artist, to photograph not the car, but the factory, okay? The River Rouge factory. And, and Sheeler said, I speak in the tongue of my times, the mechanical, the, industri the industrial. Our factories are our substitutes for religious expression, okay? And this uh, is the most famous of Sheeler's photographs of the River Rouge plant. It's called Criss Cross uh, Conveyors Ford Plant 1927. And this was used in advertising, right? You bought the car because you wanted to be associated with the modernity represented by the factory, okay? 